Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today I'm taking a stroll down Nissi Beach I've taken my shoes off and I'm going to walk along the sand, the soft sand and look guys, I've never seen this before it's low tide and the walkway to the island's exposed so you don't have to get your feet wet not that it matters you're getting your feet wet it's just i've never seen that before so i'm gonna go across to the island without getting my feet wet see what it's like now it's the 23rd of april it's about 24 degrees today beautiful day and i've got to admit that i've spent a couple of hours having a nap this afternoon it was very nice so I thought I'd come and have a walk along the beach a bit of exercise look at this area here you can get in the sea there couldn't you just got to mine the rocks here and then get in now later on in the season it's quite noisy this end and if you like uh, lots of the latest music this is the place to be but if you want it really quiet you can go right down the other end of Nissi beach and uh, it's not so noisy it's up to you guys <laughs> Now there's a brand new bar on the left. I think it's up and running. It was under refurbishment. I did do a video quite a few weeks ago showing you this bar and how they're getting along. And actually I did say that uh, they're gonna open probably the end of the month and uh, they've opened earlier guys. And see, so you can hear the music coming from the bar. Right, so yep, yeah, there's the bar, look, all up and running. That's amazing, guys. I thought the bits on the top were going to be lights, but they're actually speakers. Well, that's going to be uh, interesting. So let's go over to the island, shall we? Down we go. So you can see it's quite popular here with the younger viewers. There we go. Hi guys, you alright? Nice one. Hey, look, look, look. There you go. Right, so let's go and have a look at the island. Now, normally this is underwater, this bit here. There we are. Look totally dry this is very unusual wow right now even the water sports are quite shallow look there we are now this is definitely underwater this bit guys so you can see that it's all very soft guys there's no rocks look this is all normally underwater so if you're here and it's all covered with water you don't have to worry about hitting any rocks because you can see now that it's actually quite sandy and soft it goes rocky over that side but uh, not round here right so there's the water sports platform which is quite an unusual way to get to water sports there through that entrance there let's go and have a look shall we there we are so you have to paddle to the water sports okay so normally this would be covered in water and you paddle to the water sports 
There we are, should we do that? Let's go and have a look. Now there's lots and lots of water sports here. Lots of variety of jet skis. There's these pedal boats with slides. Lots of things. There we are. So this is how you get onto the water sports platform. You know, just get on here like this. Oh. There you go. Not too bad at all, is it? Now we've got um, these things, for aqua rocket they're calling it. You sit around, it's like a conveniently located bench or settee. Can you see that, that round one? And, but it pulls you around in the sea. Oh, these are uh, little platforms that the jet skis come on. That's good, isn't it, guys? It's sort of hollow like that, and I suspect normally the water's just covering that up so these boats can go straight on it. Can you see these canoes have just come straight on there? And these jet skis, look, look at the jet skis, see? Jet skis have just come straight on them there. So there's the massive jet skis. Oh, they're massive, aren't they, guys? Look at these. They must be very powerful. Let's go and have a look how much it costs. Let's go on to the jet skis. And bits and pieces. Oh, this is what I was talking about. The conveniently located kind of settee that pulls you around the sea. That's 15 euros. Oh, that looks interesting, doesn't it, guys? Looks like a lot of fun. Pulls you around, that's 15 also. So it looks like all the floatable stuff is 15 euros to be pulled around. What's this? Oh, you can rent that boat, look. 120 euros for half an hour, 200 euros for an hour. If you've got a big group of you. There's parasailing, look. Go on the parachute. Oh, you can do two people on that parachute. That's uh, 80 euros. Now they have got these uh, paddle boards as well. If you could uh, balance on one of those, stand up and balance. Lots and lots of safety devices. There they are. What else have they got to offer? Oh, there's the jet skis. Look, they're 60 euros for 15 minutes. For one person jet ski, 50 euros. So you could share, or you could have it to yourself for 50 euros. What's that? Oh, space buggy. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it, guys? 50 euros for half an hour. There's the pedal boat things we've just seen. 20 euros for 30 minutes or 30 euros for an hour. Oh, they've got the kayaks, we've seen those. They're 20 euros for an hour. And there's the stand up board things. There we are. You stand it up, it's doing quite well. 20 euros for an hour. There we are. So. As you can see, lots of safety devices along the way. Loads of life jackets. There's, there's the boat that tows you along, I suspect. Look at the size of that outboard. It's enormous, isn't it? Lots of uh, other boats that tow you along. Look, there's another one and one over there. Oh, it looks like these two are going out on one of these jet ski things. Look. There we are, there's a jet ski going out now. So, hype of activity round here. That looks exciting, doesn't it, guys, on the old uh, parachute thing. I like the way you could come in and literally float onto this platform with these little curves and yeah I suppose if you're on a jet ski you just sort of like mm, in and park or mine one of these for my little sailing boat just come in and park now there's the bar I was talking about guys 
that was under refurbishment about a month ago and now up and running but you can hear it even from here on the island right let's paddle back to the island and I could show you the island go that lot there's a that's a water sportsman here paddling along hello mate you're right hello, hello. they're all lovely people right let's go down right so I'm gonna go up to the island and I've paddled here and walked barefooted as well so I'm not gonna go up to the top of the island because there's a few rocks as well on the way I'll show you so guys if you do come here and you want to go up to the top of the island bring your rock shoes with you because it's quite rocky from here on there's a lovely view up there I'm not going to go up there because I've barefooted but this is the island there you go the little rocky island amazing right so we're gonna work our way back it don't look like there's any need to get our feet wet if we don't want to oh wow look at these drinks guys they're nice aren't they look the drinks are in the pineapple and you can eat the pineapple separate wow that's nice isn't it guys let's go and have a quick glimpse at the new young beach bar in the Ayanepa area looks like they've got a permanent DJ there there we are there's the DJ up there and they've done a great job in this place considering it was a building site a month ago but it's amazing now isn't it there it is look you can see there's a DJ up there and a massive bar and finally guys there's the prices for the sunbreds and umbrellas at two euros fifty or an item well that was interesting guys wasn't it a little stroll down Nissi beach and we saw the prices for the water sports and the new bar don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below